Hey folks, I hope you're all having a good whatever depending on what time zone you're in. And welcome to a comic slash manga haul. Now this will be um, part one. I got two comic books this week and I want to show them now before I forget. As it is always with my brain. So yeah, I'll show these and then uh, the, the, the second part will be the... In the comics my dad will probably go pick up at the end of the month or if I'm lucky I'll be able to go with them but yeah anyway let's get to let's get to them try to make this quick all right so the first one is uh, the Punisher 2099 this is issue one by Marvel right yeah yeah these are by Marvel that's just strange Marvel's not on any of this I just realized uh, this is, uh, the, you know, the shinier cover, yeah. My friend Leor found this in the magazine stand, and he asked me if I wanted it, so I thought, you know what, it'd be cool to read something, and it's number one. Now, I do understand now that the 2099 ones, it's not the actual character, it's their... I don't know if it's a descendant or just someone that later in that year takes on the mantle. But yeah, this is um, not Frank Castle, I think. I started reading, I've only read the first two pages. So I still don't know who this guy is. But yeah, I look forward to finding out. So that's one. And now number two is a comic from mycomicshop.com. And that is The Secret of Chessboro House, issue two. I mean, yeah, two of two. By Dark Horse Comics. Now I've had I have the uh, the first part. I tried ordering this from uh, previews through Kamikaze, but they didn't have it anymore. And I really wanted to find out uh, what happens in the end of the story. So I went there and uh, yeah, this, they had uh, two copies. So I bought me one. Still haven't even removed it from the bags. Oops. Did it show anything? I'll probably have to put a colorful thing on top of that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not fucking refilming this. I'll just put something on that. Anyway, yeah, so that has the second one. It had um, the cover done by the uh, other gentleman. I remember who did the art. And it had a cover by Mike Manola. So I thought, hey, you know what, I might as well get the Manola cover. Because I love me my Mike Manola art. That's really cool. And now I can finally finish reading this and see what, uh, how it ends. Is that, uh, it, it ended on uh, not knowing what was going to happen to the um, descendant of Chessboro House, to Hellboy, to the medium lady. Yeah. All right, let me think. Uh, that's everything. All oh, right, there's, uh, oh, well, I'll show you that in the other hall. Uh, the other part, I mean. Alright, see you next part then. Oops, sorry. Alright, part two. But not my pull list like I said it would be. Uh, my friend Leor uh, found uh, two more comic books that he bought for me. So I thought I might as well show them now, unless I forget. And also there's the thing I wanted to show you last time, but it was, I think it was too far away. I couldn't be fucked to reach it. Or go get it. Right. Oh, first, check out this cat. I always wanted one of these. A bit stupid, but look, he's always smiling. I don't know why, but anyway, now I have one. All right, let's start with the, what I wanted to show you. And that was this Funko Pop. Of uh, Gil... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Anyway, Mr. Del Toro. Now, this is the director who um, directed the uh, Hellboy movies, the two original ones. Now, not that I had any special interest in this, but um, he is the director of the uh, awesome Hellboy movies. And look, it's got 666 on it. Now, I don't know if that was intentional by the, the pop, Funko Pop. The company, 
that of the company's car. Anyway, I don't know if this was intentional or not. If it is, well done. If not, then fucking hilarious. Considering it's a movie that he directed Hellboy movies. But yeah, I thought it'd be cool to have for my uh, future Hellboy shrine. Which I hope to make. So now I have him. I even asked my friend Lior to find me a box. Uh, not a box. Uh, this um, a top. Plastic top. Anyway, whatever you put on the... And the Funko pops in with the boxes to keep it in good condition. Only because I want the 666 to remain there because it's hilarious. Yeah, there he is. Mr. Del Toro. I just want to pronounce uh, his first name. Anyway, to the comic books. I only have two. So first we have Spider-Man 2099, the annual. Uh, an annual of a 64 page special. Uh, 64 pages, sorry. <laughs> I, when I saw it, I immediately thought of a 64 page special's channel. But yeah, I thought at first it was number one, but uh, a friend told me it's an annual. I always wanted to read one of these, so I thought, hey, you know what? Please do get it for me. Now, that's the price on it, by the way. It's uh, 35 shekels. And I mean, yeah, it makes sense. It's a, it's a thick book. So I look forward to uh, reading this when I get to it. I've read an annual, an old annual. I mean, I've read modern ones. Um, oh, was it? It was a Batman one. And then the second comic is Thunderstrike, issue five by Marvel. Look at that. That's so cool. It's got a video camera on it for some reason. It's wearing sunglasses. It's the 90s. They say society stinks. It does. They say politicians lie. They do. They, they still always do. They say you can't trust anyone. Well, yeah, that's true for some people. They say heroes are dead. Wrong. <laughs> oh, it's a direct edition. Cars. I plugged in my headphones to see if this will make less noise. I guess we'll find out depending how the uh, ambulance sounds when I edit. Yeah, so that's it. These are the two comics I now have as well. And, ah, for this sake. Every time I start filming, something makes noise. It is what it is. Oh, come on. Now that how loud it's gonna be uh, when I check later. Jesus fucking Christ. And the bus. Uh, right. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, so that's it for uh, part two. Part three. <laughs> this time will be my poll list. So I'm already getting it. Today's the 20th of October. So yeah, not long till the end of the month. And then I'll show you my uh, pull list. Uh, and this video will come out uh, probably next month, maybe. Alright, folks. Uh, see you in part three. Welcome to part three. Now, I did say in part two that uh, this will be the last one. I'll show you my uh, pull list. But my dad hasn't had time yet to go uh, pick up my pull list. And I got some more comics and a manga, so the part four will be the concluding one. I just want to show this because I put stuff away and then I forget. Because, you know, I'm stupid. <laughs> Alright. Now, uh, I bought uh, from Book Depository. I have uh, tried buying from them in 2019 the Marvel art book. And unfortunately, it never arrived. And it gave me a refund, and I haven't tried since. And, um, and I decided recently, for some reason, to try again and buy something from them to see if it arrives. Just to test it. And uh, what I got is this. I got, uh, this is a manga, I got uh, Shaman King. 
uh, volumes one, two, and three. This is an uh, omnibus. Oh, and it's also by uh, Kodashana Comics. Yeah, I, I don't know why. I was just browsing there, looking at stuff, and I saw this. And I was like, you know what? Let's try. Let's buy something and see if it maybe it'll arrive this time. And it did. They still don't give you a tracking number, but this time I got a message and I got to pick where the um, manga would be shipped to, uh, shipped to. Sorry. So <laughs> that's awesome. So that means I can uh, go there and order sometimes. Because there are things I can't get through pool box and other places, so I can get them here. Oh, there's Shaman King. I watched the uh, anime for Shaman King when I was a kid on Jetix. I loved it. It was awesome. So now I'm going to read it. I'll see if I, it'll be interesting to see if I still love it as much. Ah, and I got this uh, bookmark. Oh, there's a little piggy. Oh, J.K. Rowling, the Christmas pig. I didn't know J.K. Rowling was still writing. Cute. Oh, and this has been illustrated by Jim Field. Ha, ah, a little piggy. That's kind of cute. One boy and his toy are about to change everything. Ooh. You know, I had the glasses in his car and I could be Harry. Anyway. So yeah, there's that. I've ordered uh, some more stuff off of a book depository. Actually, I got Death Note and Ghost in the Shell. Two things I wanted to read for a long while. Alright, now, for the comics I got. I got these off from mycomicshop.com. Let me just uh, quickly put these in order before I show you. Alright. Just a second. I don't know what... Does it doesn't really matter. Ah, fuck it, I already started. I'll be quick. Good thing there aren't a lot of them. So, Alright. We have achieved order. Okay, so I got Saint Sinner. I got the whole series. Which is seven uh, comic books in total. Yeah, seven. I, I didn't see any more, so I'm assuming that's it. So there's number one. I'm going to return my uh, friends uh, now that I have this one. Number two. Check that out. Say it's by Marvel and Razor Line. Yeah, it's Razor Line. Now I know. Number two. Cool covers on these, really. I really liked it, and I wanted to see how this would end. And when I saw there were only seven of them, I thought, you know what? I'll get them. And there's our boy Philip, the angel and the demon. Uh, uncover the secrets of the angel and devil within. Ooh. Oh, I'm sliding. Thanks. All right, then we have uh, uh, issue four. It's easy if you try. Eh, poor Philip. And then there's issue five. Uh, how do you save a hero who doesn't want to live? Oh, I guess we'll get an answer in this one, won't we? This is, this is by far the best cover. <laughs> the Face of Evil. Film. Film at two. Wait, film at two? <laughs> That's awesome. And last, but by no means least, you stay. Uh, sorry, you say you want an evolution. That's it, the last issue. Okay. Now I wonder if this, uh, if the story just concluded in seven issues, or if um, they were, you know, they, they cut it off in seven issues. Now what I mean is, did it get canceled, or uh, that was it? That's what where the story concluded. 
It's going to be interesting to find out now they have all of them. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, so that's it. That's everything uh, for now. That's it. The next time for certain it's going to be the, the, the Last of Us haul. It's going to be a long one. Yeah, I think the other stuff I ordered won't be here uh, for the next three weeks or so. Uh, all right. Well, that is it. I'll uh, I'll definitely see you in part four. All right, part four, and this is the last part for this haul. I promise. Uh, anything I get after this will be in a new haul. This video is gonna be long enough as it is. All right. So today is Friday, and me and Dad uh, went to Kamikaze today together. Uh, the inker um, was it from Marvel. The, the inker Joe Rubenstein was supposed to uh, arrive today uh, from 11 to 3, and uh, you know sign uh, comic books, make sketches, and all that. Uh, the Kamikaze posted about it this week. Now, I didn't know if we could uh, make it there or not, but we did. Unfortunately, he didn't arrive. We waited, we waited there, and I think we've, we waited for an hour, a little over an hour. They didn't know where he was, so Kamikaze just told people you can leave your comics and sketch requests. So if he does arrive, he'll uh, hopefully sign them and make sketches later. We'll see. He is supposed to be here for a few days, so maybe he'll already come by next week. Unfortunate, but what to do? And at least we went out. So naturally, I got my uh, pull list while I was there. And me and Dad went around the Disney Golf Center for a bit, and then we went home. All right, now to the comics. So well, the day was uh, definitely not wasted. All right, so first, oh, we have a manga. We have a manga. Oh, yeah, I have all the stuff I got just from my cover cover this time. All right, so I got this manga. It's called Black and White. Story and art by, I don't know how to pronounce that, so have a look. I'll uh, use Google later for it. So this is a Yaoi uh, manga. It's been uh, quite a while since I read a uh, Yaoi manga. Anyway, the last one I read was Liquor and Cigarettes. Yeah, that was the last one. It's in one of the boxes currently. Uh, this is a story, uh, both of these guys on the cover are actors and they're in a relationship. And I think they're hiding it. Or something like that. Anyway, they have issues. I don't know, it sounded interesting, so I thought, you know what, let's get it. So now I will get to that's a uh, nice uh, wrap. <laughs> it's hot again today. I mean, fuck me. It's it's November and we still have fans and T-shirts. Is the cold ever going to arrive? Fuck knows. Next we have some Hellboy. <laughs> Hellboy, uh, the Silver Lantern Club. I already started reading this. Um, uh, just the first two pages. Uh, it, it looks like we're visiting uh, Professor um, Broom. I don't know how to pronounce his surname. They say it's supposed to sound like Broom, but I'm not sure. Anyway, the professor's uh, bro uncle, sorry. Uncle. His uncle Sam. No, sorry, Uncle Simon. So that's cool. And a uh, pub called Monk's Head. I'm excited to read this. Uh, the art is by uh, the same guy I think who did Chesboro House, possibly. I can only show you a page. It's very similar art. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. Some more Hellboy for the collection. Next we have um, Batman the Long Halloween Special. Move the camera a bit. I saw this and I thought, you know, cool. Um, I wonder if it's, um... Oh, there is the Batman Long Halloween story, which I still want to read. Yeah, it looked interesting, so I thought I'd get it. I had to look it up, pumpkin. 
All this stuff I ordered a while ago, but you know, shipments have been stuck, so... And then suddenly everything came together. Next we have Gunslinger Spawn. Yeah, that's cool. Look at that. I think Andrew might have asked me at Silver Knight Comics if I got this one or not. So we have that. I have quite a few DC books this time. Next we have uh, Arkham City, The Order of the World. Uh, this, I, I don't remember. I think this is about Spawn in a Different World. A long Halloween is, oh, and it's Gotham and Batman, so I just grabbed it. I ordered it. And this is supposed to be about the, the, the people that are in Arkham Asylum. All the villains that were put away or other people. Seemed interesting enough. Then we got um, DC versus Vampires. Yeah, I don't know. I thought I'd give this one a try, see if it's any good. I haven't subscribed to it, though. I'll read this one and see if I want to continue. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna subscribe. And then I got a Jennifer Blood. Looked interesting and very violent, so I thought, yeah, you know what, let's try one. I think Simon might like this cover. That's a lot of ads. Yeah, we'll see. We'll give her a try. Next, I got this aunt by Image. Yeah, it looks, it looks cool. Some new superhero on Ant Lady. Be interesting to see. Unfortunately, it's a piss yellow cover, but eh, what are you gonna do? Next, we got uh, Harlock. By a space Pirate Captain Harlock by a Blaze. That was a much better cover than the last one. Well, the last one was was fine. It's just the face was fucking ugly. Oh, Excellence issue eleven. I gotta get back to Excellence. I still get the comics, but I haven't read it yet. I mean, I haven't continued it. All right. Oh, everything's oh shit. Everything's falling. Uh, next we have Berserker issue 5. Go check out that Keanu Reeves. Uh, I'll have to make a little. Uh, uh, I, you know, it's for. I'll put it up here right now. I got um, Batman vs. Bigby Wolf. Uh, a wolf in Gotham. I'll put an image up here. All right, next we have uh, Kento uh, 3, uh, Lionhearted. This is issue 3 by IDW. Let me get back to that as well. Next we have Vault Presents. Oh, yeah, this is... Um, oh, Barbaric. Now, this is something uh, Roscoe recommended to me that I should give a read to. Uh, I was looking for it. At first, I couldn't order it, so I was like, ah, is it out of print? But the, the first, um, what was it? No, not first issue. So, ah, the first print, the first print is uh, already gone. So is the second one. So I got the third one. That didn't really matter. So was, at first I was bummed. I was like, oh, I can't get it. Oh, and, and now these two I already have, but Kamikaze gave me new ones for free. It's not all robots. It's that famous picture. Of the American life or so, something. Uh, now, th apparently, I did notice the two issues I got came damaged a bit. You know me, I, I don't particularly care. So I didn't really uh, think anything of it. But Kamikaze gave me new ones. I actually thought I got one ripped accidentally. So I have these again. Uh, I'll sell the other ones. And last... But by no means least for this haul is uh, the Essential Guide to Comic Book Lettering by Nate uh, P. Uh, I'm not even gonna attempt that. 
and try for yourselves by Nate P. Yeah, I wanted to read this one. I, I didn't know what was, you know, the, the big deal with lettering. And then uh, Mr. Uh, Ranger Sly told me that, you know, before this they used to do it all by hand. So I was like, ooh. So that is interesting how they would do it, how they would space it. So I saw this book and I thought, you know, that would be an interesting read. How would they, how they did all the uh, lettering. Yeah, the compositions, where to place it. I think it would be a very interesting read because sometimes they have, um, you know, there, there is lettering, then there's the bobbles, and, and they put them, and they put them in such a confusing way that I don't understand who's supposed to be saying what. So I'll learn about lettering. All right, folks, so that is it. This is everything for now. Eh, poor Big B and Batman, they fell. Yeah, well, hang on, guys. I'll, uh, I'll ask Grandma to come and pick you. All right, yes, so that's it. Uh, let me know if uh, you got any of this stuff, what you think about it. No spoilers, of course. And uh, that is it. Till the next haul, which, knowing me, won't be too long. Uh, oops. Yes, right. Till the next haul, remember, collect what you're passionate about and share it on YouTube. Bye!